Dear viewers, today we are going to present a very important microbiological test which is the detection of Listeria monocytogens and Listeria spaces. Welcome to Microgames Experiments. Be with us, be a laboratory expert. This test involves seven steps. Media preparation, sample preparation, selective enrichment, isolation procedure, result observation, confirmatory test and result interpretation. To conduct this test, we need a balance machine, autoclave, biological safety cabinet, incubator, water bath, straw maker, micropipette with tips, boons and burner, inoculating loop, sterile petri dish and straw maker bag, Oxford agar base, Listeria enrichment broth base, and Listeria selective supplement. Let's go for the analysis. Media preparation is very crucial for this test. At first, we will prepare Oxford agar culture plates and for this we need Oxford agar based dehydrated medium and Listeria selective supplement. Take weight of 28.5 grams Oxford agar powder. Take 500 ml distilled water into a Durand bottle. Transfer the Oxford agar powder into the bottle. Rotate it and shake the bottle to mix the content. Now boil the content in water bath for 5 minutes. Take the boiled media out of the water bath and place into the autoclave. Autoclave the media at 121 degrees Celsius and 15 pounds pressure for 15 minutes. After autoclaving, cool the Oxford agar media at 50 degrees Celsius using water bath. Take the media inside the biological safety cabinet. Now we will add one vial of the Listeria selective supplement into the media. Open the vial cap aseptically. Transfer 1 ml acetone into the vial. Vortex the vial to dissolve the supplement in acetone completely. Take the dissolved content into a sterile syringe. Attach a filter with the syringe. Filter the supplement and transfer into the bottle contained the Oxford agar media.
Add another ml of acetone into the same supplement vial to transfer the residue left inside it by filtering in the same way. Now rotate the bottle gently to mix the supplement with the media homogeneously. Pour 15 to 20 ml of the prepared media into each sterile petri dish. Now cool the media for solidifying. Now we will prepare Listeria Enrichment Broth Base Medium. We need Listeria Enrichment Broth Base Dehydrated Medium and Listeria Selective Supplement. Take weight of 18 grams Listeria Enrichment Broth Based Dehydrated Powder. Take 500 ml distilled water into a Duran bottle. Transfer the Listeria Enrichment Broth Based Dehydrated Medium into the bottle. Rotate it and shake the bottle to mix the content. Autoclave the media at 121 degrees Celsius and 15 pounds pressure for 15 minutes. After autoclaving, cool the media at 50 degrees Celsius using water bath. Take the media inside the biological safety cabinet. Add one vial of Listeria Selective Supplement as done previously for Oxford Agar.
Now we will prepare our sample. Use a sterilized spoon to transfer the sample. Spray the spoon with 70% isopropyl alcohol if there is any chance of contamination. Take 25 grams of homogeneous portion of sample into a sterile stomacher bag. Measure 225 ml of prepared Listeria enrichment broth and transfer into the stomacher bag containing the sample. Mix and homogenize the content using stomacher machine. Incubate the mixture at 30 degrees Celsius for 24 hours to 26 hours. After incubation, take the enriched broth and bring inside the biological safety cabinet. Shake the broth to mix the medium well. Now take one loop full of enriched broth using the heat sterilized inoculating loop. Streak the enriched culture on Oxford agar plate. Video link for streaking technique is given in the description section of this video. You can watch the video for more clarification about the streak plate technique. Streak another loop full of culture on another Oxford agar plate for second trial. You can also use agar listeria according to Ottaviani and Agosti, replacing the Oxford agar in which listeria develops blue to green colony. You can additionally use PALCAM listeria selective agar as a secondary media for trial 3 and 4 along with the primary media. Incubate both plates at 35 degrees Celsius for 48 hours keeping upside down. After incubation, take out the plates and observe the colonies. You can see many black colonies which turned the media color into black. Consider these black colonies on Oxford agar plate as Listeria. Listeria gives black colonies on PALCAM Listeria selective agar media. 
make a subculture of these black colonies on another fresh Oxford agar plate and tea as applied by streaking technique and observe the colonies. Now we have to confirm these colonies as Listeria species or Listeria monocytogens by confirmatory tests. We can confirm Listeria species by several tests, such as morphological characteristics by gram staining, catalyzed test, VP test, and motility test. Listeria species are gram positive rod or coccobacilli, catalyzed, VP, and motility positive. Confirmatory tests for Listeria monocytogens are shown in the display. Listeria monocytogens are gram positive rod or coccobacilli. CAMP test, catalase test, motility test, and L Ramnose test positive, D xylose test negative, and gives beta hemolysis on blood agar. Confirmatory test link for Listeria detection will be given in the description section of this video. If the expected confirmatory test results comply, then make a report as the Listeria species or Listeria monocytogens is detected.